In this video, I will show you how I use it to test the RESTful web services using the JUnit. So this is my application which I already created. Here you can see the controller repository and the model employee model and the employee service. So this is my controller which has some methods for add employee and uh, get employee and get employees body basic CRUD operations and this is employee model here I used only two fields name and tech and one is a generated ID value and this is employee service here I injected the employee repository and calling the repository methods okay now here you can see this is a repository which extends the JPA repository this is application properties where I configured my SQL database. You can use in memory H2 database for testing. Now let's open our SRC main test Java. Let's create one test case. J in a test case. Let's write some name and uh, add one class for which we need to create the test case. Here I am using employee service class for which I need to add uh, write some test cases. So let's click on next. Here you can see some methods uh, for, um, from that uh, employee service. I am selected uh, test temp save employee and test get employee by ID. So by default you can see fail fail and both the test cases will fail now if you run. Now the employee service uh, let's inject that one. Employee service employee or uh, service object let's inject uh, by using the that inject marks okay now now let's write the test cases here uh, you can see employee uh, service has a dependency employee repository so let's inject it as a mock so let's copy that employee repository and employee repository, employee repo, and annotated with the red uh, mock. It's used to create a mocked instance uh, like a proxy object so that we can write our own implementation for that particular method. So now let's write uh, some setup mock it to annotations dot open mocks this so that it will initialize all those mocks. Now let's write the test save employee, I created a uh, one request employee and a response employee. And uh, we'll call that one. Let's call asset equals expected one is a uh, result and employee result employee. And actual one, uh, let's call that uh, method employee service dot save employee, and we'll pass that request employee. Okay. Now let we as we have mocked that uh, employee repository object so that we can write our own implementation so whenever employee report dot save method is called then return yeah you can give any uh, here i'm giving a result employee okay yeah now let's uh, test it Yeah, we got the success now let's test this one test get employee by id when employee report dot find by id any int so it's now that let's add the, some static input from the market of annotations any int if it receives any int then return okay it's a return optional so let's create one optional law of employee optional level result employee and then return that employee object okay yeah now here I forgot to write assert statement. Here we can see right side. Uh, we need to write assert statement like that. 
की शुरुआत करेंगे नाउ लेट्स राइट वन मोर फॉर फील्ड कंडीशन टेस्ट एम्प्लॉय बाय आईडी फॉर नल वैल्यूज आई मीन इफ इफ द एम्प्लॉय इज नॉट फाउंड एंड इट शुड रिटर्न सम एयर राइट सो फॉर दैट विल टेस्ट बाय यूजिंग द एसेट थ्रोस हियर यू कैन सी इट विल थ्रो द एम्प्लॉय नॉट फाउंड एक्सेप्शन सो लेट्स राइट दैट वन एम्प्लॉय नॉट फाउंड आर क्लास and then call that method employee service uh, dot get employee by id pass any int uh, so let's check that one uh, when employee report dot find by id any int uh, then return then throw uh, employee not found dot class so let's check that one yeah Yeah, we got success. All this test employee body for null. Yeah, okay. Now let's uh, open that uh, for a file which was created by the Spring framework, Spring Boot test, which is used to create a test methods to do in integration testing. But by default, uh, it will not start the server. So we need to add attributes of web environment options like random port, and we need to write the context of that particular class. So let's um, let's do one thing. I mean, let's auto add a mock MVC to call the rest endpoints of that controller. And in the same way, we can write a their test. And let's call the actual methods by using the mock MVC, mock MVC dot perform, mock MVC request builders dot post. Here we'll need to pass a URL, add employee, and uh, content type, media type. dot application json and content okay let's copy the content and paste it here here you can see name bharat and type java and expect a uh, status uh, is okay and then uh, return this is how uh, we request let's throw that exception Okay, uh, let's uh, do one thing. Let's uh, write in a uh, request builder the whole request. Copy whole request and paste in a request. Uh, remove from bit and expect that one. Now oh, we perform the one. It's a uh, install in a request object, request builder, and here we'll pass that request and then expect a uh, status okay and then return. Store that uh, result in a MVC result. MVC result. Okay, asset expected. Uh, we'll create one expected uh, employee object and uh, get that uh, employee from the MVC result. Get response dot get content as a string. Now here we'll. Modify that expected object to that JSON representation by using object mapper. Let's auto over that one. Object mapper, object mapper. Dot uh, write value as a string and that object. Okay, now let's uh, test that one. It's failed. Okay, let's. the console unsatisfied being exception unsatisfied dependency field and this let me try with uh, adding the one annotation auto configurable web mvc run as test Yeah, now we got the response, but expected is different. Actual is different. Actual one is the nine, but expect we are expecting one. Okay, because uh, in the DB there are already some records are there, so that's why the ID is auto generated one, right? So that's why it's uh, generating new ID. So let's uh, let's me change that ID to nine. Okay, it's already nine is there, so let me add it to ten. Now we are adding employee, so that will return ten only. Uh, it started. Yeah, we got the success. Test case passed. 
okay now we will do one more test case um, by forget arrest employee by id let's copy that one and uh, change that path for employee 10 get employee by id it's 10 throws exception okay and now test one more time see here uh, these both test will run the both test will fail because because we are expecting 10 but it will return uh, 11 here you can see test 7 employee will failed is failed uh, here you can see 11 but test employee by id uh, is succeeded okay now let's do one thing let's try with some random employee id which is not there in the db let me give some unknown employee id and we'll and we'll expect uh, to return a bad request so write bad request let me disable that one old one so that will not add again one more uh, employee object run as a test general test yeah it's disabled and the test get employee body it's got succeeded yeah this is how you can test the each and every APS and uh, code link in the description thanks for watching this video